Johnny Hawkins, a.k.a. Hawk, was an acrobatic forward whose large hands enabled him to palm the ball, swoop to the basket and throw down powerful dunks. Connie was also a great leaper who modeled parts of his game after Elgin Baylor. Hawkins paved the way for future stars who would also play above the rim. Coach Larry Brown once said that Connie was like Jordan before Michael Jordan and Julius before Julius Irving. Hawkins was recruited to play college basketball at Iowa in 1961. However, before he ever suited up to play a game for them, Connie was indirectly implicated in point-shaving scandal and was released by the team. Even though he was never arrested or convicted of any wrongdoing, the NBA blackballed him from the league. As a result, NBA fans were robbed of the opportunity to witness Hawkins in his prime. Hawkins starred at Boys High School in Brooklyn where he was named an All-American in 1960. In the ABA's first season in 1967-68, Connie and the Pittsburgh Pipers won the ABA championship by defeating the New Orleans Buccaneers in seven games. In 1967-68, Hawkins was named the ABA Most Valuable Player and the ABA Playoffs Most Valuable Player. He led the ABA in scoring with 26.8 points per game and was second only to Mel Daniels with 13.5 rebounds per game. After suing the NBA for banning him, Connie received a financial settlement of over $1 million. Then the NBA allowed Connie into the league when he was 27 years old, beginning with the 1969-70 season. That year he averaged 24.6 points and 10.4 rebounds and was named to the All-NBA First Team along with Billy Cunningham, Walt Frazier, Willis Reed, and Jerry West. Hawkins was a five-time All-Star, once in the ABA with the Pipers in 1968 and four consecutive times in the NBA with the Phoenix Suns from 1970 to 1973. Hawkins could dunk when he was only 11 years old. He grew up playing in the streets of New York, including at famed Rucker Park, and became a playground legend. Connie cried when informed that he had been selected for induction into the Hall of Fame. In an era before video was widespread, many never saw Hawkins in his basketball glory. His amazing abilities as a basketball player were recognized by his induction. Jerry Colangelo former owner of the Phoenix Suns and the chairman of the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame, has said that if Hawkins had entered the NBA at a normal age after college he could have gone down in history as a top 10 or 15 player.